Good day everyone, this is Vitlana Vronska and today I would like to share with you how to add background to the photos. My client asked me to shoot all black and white and she likes this image but I want to upgrade it to the next level and uh, I decided to use one of my digital backgrounds and since uh, that was black and white so let's turn black and white I'm absolutely happy with just this one I don't have to use any contrast or any presets to turn black and white okay and since my uh, subject is cropped so I can place them anywhere else so I'm gonna make first I'm gonna make background blur so let's uh, make it blur so like um, I think this 40 sounds great looks great and click OK all right and then let's place the subject let's select oops, let's do this select subject Okay, dokie, and let's move it right here. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna place them somewhere here. And let's crop the image. Oops, okay, cool. Uh, let's add some mask. Should we move? wherever oh, it looks like this part was not um, selected let's go back let's go back select subject and what I like to do is just uh, mm -hmm. and let's see the selection yes you see so I just add um, decrease the brightness and in this case I can see better outlines. Okay. Let's give him his bay hair back. And of course, well, not that, maybe just a little bit. Okay. Neck. And here, let's see, okay, and, and oops, I'm holding alt keys, okay, cool. Let's go back to the subject and okay, let me decrease, remove the, and I'm gonna remove the old one. Okay. Let's, oh, how come? Oh, <gasps> did I? Uh, uh oh, okay, here we go. Instead of moving accidentally remove moved half of their body here goes okay let's remove that one and place it somewhere here like the standing closer to the camera okay uh, let's go to engrave mask use black brush Brush the hair, and I think I want to use less hardness, smooth brush. Okay. I think I'm gonna go back and just use a smaller brush to 
to recreate those folds a little better. Okay. Now, let's go to, let's go to contrast to the lower bot to the lower image see no i think we're going to create a little bit lighter image yes so let's go create lighter to make sure making sure that the lighting kind of the way it hits the uh, subject and also we're going to create same thing to why i'm doing separate because um the amount of contrast is different for each image all right and now i'm gonna Flatten the image, and with my smudge tool, I'm gonna just create a little blur. Blur the edges to fit them perfectly into the scenery. Will be not as a scene that it, the, 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 there was photoshopped okay the only thing um, it's about her hair let's see if I can just remove that thing that piece or yeah it doesn't let's maybe go back and see if I can No, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Or maybe, let's try. Okay. Command copy. Command paste. And yeah, let's do that. Since we uh, downsize this image here, so it's a bit bigger, which which works for us and let's see if it's work. it's extra something extra but we'll see if we're gonna use it or not i think it looks great let's go back over here okay and we're gonna use some clone tool just to um, connect the blurness and the bond kind of thing let's see if that's too much yeah let's go back because I decrease a lot so I'm gonna just bump it back and remove again or just okay it's okay to have this highlight because we have the light part over here it's kind of feeding the image okay so and now let's create contrast that will put in both images now it's one image all right it looks great to me we're gonna go ahead and save it or i'm gonna add um more contrast the, let me see if that's gonna work yes something like this let's see maybe less and maybe more black yes before and after yeah let me see if i re yes all right this is what we did with the image so that was this image which is also great select but this image says a lot right 
All right, it's available in our shop. And uh, thank you for watching. That was Svetlana Bronska. Bye.